have a client in Montana it's gonna do some grafting this year we're gonna go over there and do I don't know 1100 trees or so uh, it's a long ways from home I don't travel and do grafting on the road anymore I used to travel and graft in California Arizona uh, Texas Canada <laughs> but but uh, I don't do that anymore anyway he needs it done so uh, we're gonna go do it I'm gonna make an exception but he's never grafted before doesn't know what sign would to collect and I'm gonna send him a sample so here's two pieces that are perfect for cherry grafting for a side graft technique at least uh, rule of thumb is probably your ring finger because you want it uh, you want good uh, brown hardened off wood this one's a little small but it'll make two grafts we'll get two signs out of each one of these um, once the uh, once the uh, wood starts to get a little bit green color we don't use that where it bends if you take a piece and bend it like that where it gets rubbery that's where we stop we don't use anything past that point so this is this is what you want and you can cut these small ends off to make it more compact to store it if you need to generally we'll just have guys bundle these and oh, bundles of 50 or 100 tie them up nice and tight lay them in a apple bin or cherry bin and throw some damp sawdust on them put them in cold storage they need to be stored oh as near to 34 as you can get eh, 34 to 38 I like it the colder the better as long as it's not freezing do not freeze the wood but uh, yeah throw some damp sawdust in with it don't soak the wood just throw some some sawdust in with it and that'll uh, that'll hold the moisture in the wood and we're not gonna have to store it very long you have to be a little more particular if you're gonna store the wood for six months but it's only going to be as cold storage for uh, maybe uh, four to six weeks so it'll be fine but you want to collect your wood now it's February 3rd today you want to collect your wood while it's still nice and dormant while these buds are really tight you don't want to show any green tip because once that bud's triggered and starts moving uh, then if you do the graft after that that bud's already activated and it just continues to grow instead of it use it instead of healing in on the bottom end on the graft it uses all of its stored carbohydrates to force that bud and there's nothing left uh, to heal in the graft once that bud shoots and it grows then the sign is spent and it's like a flower in a vase it'll live for a while and that shoot will come out of, you know an inch or so and then it just dies because there's no uh, no connection on the bottom end uh, to build a vascular system to feed the nutrients to the bud so ideally you want to put this in when it's fully dormant and that way it'll heal in on the bottom end what happens is when you expose the cambium make those cuts and expose the cambium and then match it with the cambium on the tree it starts to uh, build up what's called callusing tissue and then in that tissue it begins uh, well those calcing cells begin to differentiate into vascular cells so it can feed feed the graft and that's cherry grafting sign wood and that's all I have to say about that